Today I'm going to show you how to get this dreamy glowy effect that you can only get with Pro Mist filters in Premiere Pro for free and quick because you know what time it is. It's time for a quick tip Tuesdays. So if you don't know what Promise Filter does, it basically blooms your highlights, making the roll off between the highlights smoother, it makes skin look smoother and softer, and things just look more vintagey, movie-like, because you're getting rid of that digital edge that you get with DSLR and mirrorless cameras. Now these filters are great, but they cost a pretty penny, and with the whole corona time thing and the economy not looking too shabby, what better way to save money than by doing things in post? I should put on a t-shirt. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this effect, but just for you guys, I left a link below in the description to a free preset that has all the settings that you can use. I do recommend you finish the video though, because I'm gonna show you how each parameter works so you have a better idea of how to use a preset when you apply it to your own videos. All right, so let's not waste any more time. Here in Premiere Pro, I'm gonna be working with three clips. This is a night sequence a daylight sequence of a photo shoot I was shooting BTS for and the same thing but a different scenario. So the first thing you want to do with your clip is you want to duplicate it. So to do that we hold Alt and we click and drag upwards and now we've duplicated it. Then we want to add the Gaussian Blur effect. So we go to Effects Gaussian Blur Ba -ba -ba, bang and nothing's happening so you want to make sure that you check repeat edge pixels and then you want to increase the blurriness value to about between 200 and 400 as you can see like all of the bright stuff is kind of like becoming bloomed to keep to the terminology but you can change this later anyway okay so now we're going to our blend mode and we're going to change it to screen now if you don't know what screen does it's a blending mode that gets rid of anything that's black or dark leaving only the things that are not black or dark. And as you can see here, we're left with just the light parts of the blur. And as you can see, if you increase the blurriness, you increase the bloominess. However, let's take it one step further and drag in the Luma Key effect. Now this will help us isolate it one level further because Luma Key is basically a key. So it subtracts and gets rid of stuff depending on Luma, which is the lightness or darkness of an image. Now, so now that you understand that, make sure you have your Luma key above your Gaussian Blur. Now, if we increase the threshold all the way to 100 to get rid of anything in the shadows, we're only left with the highlights. And now we can increase the cutoff to whatever we want to make sure that we're managing the bloominess. In this case, I think maybe around 40, 45. That looks glowy enough to give us the effect and make it look nice but also subtle enough that it doesn't actually look like an effect that you're adding on. So now you can see if you play the clip, we have a nice glowy dreamy effect, which uh, looks pretty cool. So at this scene, this is what it looks like before. And this is what it looks like after. Now, depending on your clip, depending on your taste, you want, might want to increase the, the cutoff or decrease it. You might also want to play with the blurriness. The blurriness really does affect how much the glow seeps in to your shadows, whereas the cutoff kind of like dims everything out. It gets rid of the level of glow that you have. So now if you go to the other clip, but instead of adding the effects, you use the preset that I have in the description below, black premised effect, drag, drop it, you have a nice glowy effect and this looks pretty cool as you can see of course if you wanted to decrease the cutoff or increase the amount of gaussian blur you can do that at your own taste but then you can apply a lot and do some grading this slot is from my creator pack that i have in my store link in the description below if you're interested but if you are looking to edit nighttime footage i do have two free LUTs that you can download for free zero monies from the store because i love you guys and you know i want to give back to all the support that you guys give me but let's try this with a daytime clip but we're underneath a bridge here so if i copy the clip I apply the effect. You can see we have a lot of the bloominess sipping in from the sides and I think this looks all right, but if you want to decrease it, you can. And then we have a nice subtle effect. And I think this looks really good when you're looking at people because it makes the skin look softer. If you look before, it's very digital and afterwards it kind of gets through that digital edge. This isn't going to be the exact same as if you were to get a Promis filter, but it does a pretty good job if you don't have one and if you want to save money. All right, same thing here. Let's duplicate the clip. 
let's add the black promised effect whoa <laughs> all right so this one came off quite strong so uh let's actually reduce the blurriness here to 200 like that let's increase that cutoff so we only really get this much and now this is before this is after and yeah like sometimes you don't want it to be too strong like that was just a bit much so that's how you get the smooth pro mist filter effect in premiere pro doing it like a pro no cons just pros okay i did a freestyle you you should probably leave the video a like because I mean, that was pretty cool if I say so myself. <laughs> if you have any questions about this or future suggestions for other videos, make sure you leave them down in the description below. Let's have a chat down there. I read every single comment. And whilst you're down there, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't and like the video if you liked it. With all that said and done, I will see you in the next video.